Today, I'm planning to share with you five tips that I know you don't know in SOLIDWORKS, and it's gonna be a short video, so bear with me. Tip number one that you don't know, when you have more than one window open, you could hold control key on your keyboard and press tab to see all the open windows, or you could just pressing tab while holding control to switch between the windows. Everybody knows if you hold shift and work with your arrows, you could rotate your component around an axis that is vertical and parallel to your screen. But how can you rotate your component around an axis that is perpendicular to your screen? Like this. You should hold Alt key on your keyboard and work with your arrows. Left rotates it clockwise and right rotates it counterclockwise. Okay, we all know that if you want to make a component transparent, you could go to the display and choose a color, go to the advance and go to illumination, work with transparent amount and then do it transparent. But if you want to make it transparent temporarily, there is an easier way. You can click on this arrow over here, open all these four columns, find your solid body over here and activate the transparency of that component which makes that component temporarily transparent. If you want to create something like a glass or water or some sort of a see-through liquid, you could work with that and then turn it back to opaque later. When you're working with a component that has a lot of features on its property manager, sometimes it's difficult to find the feature that you're looking for. Did you know that this field over here is actually a filter search bar that allows you to type the type of feature that you've used or the name of it and it will sort them out right here for you. While I'm going to talk about the search bar and the property manager, did you know that you actually have two property managers? Only one of them is hidden. When you see this knob, you drag it down, you see your second property manager, which is the exact identical property manager as the one below. And whatever you do here happens in the one below as well. But if you want to sort things out, for example, you want to compare the number of chamfers you have uh, compared to the number of fillets you have, you could sort them out in two different property managers and find them out one by one. Let me know in the comment section below which of these five tips were new to you because I'm planning to post the next five probably next Friday. It's Friday for God's sake. And if you're new here, it's not all what I do. It's part of what I do next to the main content. So consider subscribing if you want to learn SOLIDWORKS for good. I'll see you next week.